Right, after that little issue there, I think I'll actually just fast travel to Cerulean Robotics itself. I think I can do that. Maybe not. Um, let's go to the North Gate. I thought that Robco Certified was supposed to add it as a um, a fast travel location, but maybe that was maybe we don't have that yet for whatever reason. Oh well. Uh, nevertheless, let's just head back over and get the sex bot going and have one more oh. no I don't know if bringing we're hunting shitheads is this guy gonna be upset about seeing Cass or no we're fine good it's hard to tell with the silver rush they're kind of funky sometimes they have their own weird faction, and we do have to sort them out sooner rather than later, unfortunately. Um, whether or not I'll have enough skill points to do that uh, remains to be seen, but I'm hoping we do. Go ahead and head right over here. To Cerulean Robotics. Occasionally, a gang will spawn around here. But today it seems like we're in the clear. Head inside. Creatures have respawned from the last we were out here. Just gotta fight our way through them. That's very loud. Got you. Ow. Cleared them out nice and easily, and they have not destroyed our good little sex bot there. Perfect. Just what we wanted to see. Uh, see if they have anything useful on them. Anything in that ash file? Yeah. There we go. With everything of interest taken care of there, all I have to do is... Well, let's check these first in case there's anything good. I think I already looted them last time, but... Uh, we want to do the Protectron Programming Interface. And upload the programming routine. The sexbot root uh we can use either our science or Ralph sexbot routine. We went through the trouble, so screw Ralph, let's do our own. Kinda scary that we know how to do that, but then again we have a hundred science, so that makes sense. And Fisto is free from his little chamber. Fully integrated security technotronic officer active and reporting for duty. That is a mouthful. Let's shorten that to Fisto. Yes, ma'am. Fisto reporting for duty. Please assume the position. I suppose I should test you before I hand you to the Garrets. Servos active. Oh boy. Operation complete. Thank you for your business. That was... Different. Are you uncomfortable? My servos may require adjustment. No, you performed as intended. Excellent. Awaiting further orders. Uh, report to the Atomic Wrangler. James Garrett is your new owner. Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> With that sorted out, um, we finally finished that quest. At what cost? We can jury rig this to fix it. Uh, Oh, I need 90 repair. Apparently I don't have that yet. How much repair do I have? 86. That figures. Four more points I'll be able to do it, basically. Oh well. Um, or one of those jumpsuits. I'll just come back with one of those jumpsuits later on. Because I don't think I have one on me, do I? Be very convenient. Be extremely convenient. Nope. Head right out the door. 
And with that, we can return to James Garrett now, because we've sorted out all three of his escorts and the uh, situation with the followers. So it's going to be great. They're going to be He's going to be super duper happy to see me. I'm sure he's going to give me a random amount of caps from three to 3,000 for my work. But mostly I'm doing this for the fun and the experience points. The experience points also help. They definitely play a pretty big factor, yeah. Um, and hopefully the game doesn't crash again. And I might as well drink another Sunset Star Spiral in the meantime. The Aerated one still doesn't get me a star cap. Here we are. All we need to do is have a chat with James Garrett. Hey, chum. Welcome back. And I have great news. I spoke with Julie Farkas. She says the followers will accept your offer. Hey, that's great. We'll get some supplies sent over today as a show of good faith. Once our stills are upgraded, we'll never be short on liquor for our patrons. If Jacob Hoff is sober, we might even have a few new drinks on tap. Most might view us as drug-dealing enablers around here, but honestly, we care about our patrons. It's bad business for people to get addicted. We've got enough crime in Freeside without a bunch of strung-out junkies robbing traders and gamblers to afford their next fix. That's good to hear. There's also the fact that, yeah, while it seems that Julie Farkas thought it was, um, you know, the Garrett's causing trouble as far as that goes, it turns out it very well could have been uh, mostly Dixon doing that. Um, but yeah, so I found the sex bot you're looking for. You did? Ha, damn! I've been looking for one of those for years. Ah. For my customers, I mean, I'm not into that kind of shit. Sure. Speech 40 thing is, Fisto... Uh, Fisto's a heavy-duty piece of equipment built to last. It's the same for barter and speech. Um, hey, I'm amazed you even found the thing in the first place. Here is double for your trouble. Those freaky fetishists ought to be satisfied now. And 63 caps. It's already programmed. It is? It will? My god, imagine the possibilities. He's very happy. It didn't happen to come with an owner's manual, did it? Ah, forget it. Trial and error should do it. <laughs> <laughs> He's very happy. Uh, you wanted smooth talker for an escort? I found one. And who would that be? Old Ben. I've heard some stories of that old guy. I'm amazed he's still alive with how much he's been through. If the stories are true, he'll be a valuable commodity here at the Wrangler. I appreciate the find. Yeah, that's probably a better choice anyway, because he does get upset if you choose Santiago. He doesn't really like Santiago, so that's good. And escort who's a ghoul and a cowboy. Imagine that. What's his name and when's he start? Her name is Beatrix and she can start immediately. A she, huh? Well, I guess the customer who made that request can't get everything he wants. Hell, who knows? He might not even notice the difference. And how's business? House may have boxed us out of the strip, but we also don't have to deal with their bullshit. I think now that the followers are working with us, we'll be able to shape up Freeside a bit more. And how's business? With Jacob Hoff sobered up, there are new drinks on the menu and sales are strong. People love the new absinthe and rum and nuka. And do you have anything for sale? Sure. Take a look. And how ludicrous are your prices? Yep, yeah, pretty ridiculous. Well, I guess I'll take an expensive sunset size roller. Thanks. And it's good to see that we were able to help people. Hello there. We complete Wang Dang Atomic Tango, and I think we just have to talk to Julie about the stills being completed, and that's when we get some followers fame. Because weirdly enough, we didn't get like any followers of the Apocalypse fame from any of that, which is a bit odd. I'm just taking a quick look at my medicine stat. That's another skill that we need to... 49... A little short of what we need, so I'll have to wait on... Oh, I can buff it to 54. Howdy. Um, we might be able to do another quest to help the kings today as well. Um, I need to check that, though. And let's see if we can find Julie Farkas. She might be right over here in this hour. Um, let's see. Is she around? No, she must be outside somewhere. Julie Farkas. 
Oh, we got Bill Ronte here. Um, pretty glad that those guys are back here. That's pretty cool. I think I knew that happened. It's just I totally forgot about it. And I can't find Julie on this occasion, so unfortunately I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, finish off this part uh, of the follower stuff. Which is kind of weird, but anyways, let's go, because I think we can sort out um, GI Blues right now, or at least part of it. Barter check of 50, what is my barter skill? 47, so actually if I put on... This hat it brings my bard up to 52. Perfect. Oris, Oris, my good man. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Uh, how much for your services? 200. And I'll hire. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. You take hey, some you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work. He said to give you this. Who knows what you can hand out in the randomizer. That guy normally hands out basically useless garbage, but maybe he'll be coughing up some good stuff. Who knows? Mormon fort. If you get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Not that I ever need their services. And as far as Oris... It, it can be bought. It can be found at Nick and Ralph. Oris is just going to give us a long walk and tour through the city, so I'm just going to cut to the important part. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. He tries to run ahead, but here's the thing. With the sprint mod active, I can see him get there in time. Don't just nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. And intelligence of six, hey, you only fired three shots and there are four guys there. Uh, noticed that, did you? I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. Really? Or you just fake this whole thing to drum up repeat business? That's an interesting theory you've got there. I'd suggest you keep it to yourself. Let's get moving. No, 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 no. I want all the money you have on you. I could make it to the kings from here. I ought to take my chances and kill you right here. But you may be right. Here, take this. Don't think this is over, though. I'll have that money back out of your hide if I have to. I don't think so. Oh, you actually give me the right number of caps, just about. Medicine to examine the body. Thug is still alive, merely pretending to be dead. No, I'm pretty sure if they attack me, Oris will attack me too. Which is a bit of a shame, because I would like to loot them, but oh well. We'll just head back to the king now. With some very useful information. Oh! Oh goodness. I didn't mean to do that. And what is going on here? Freeside Thug is taking out the <laughs> the guards. Unauthorized entry detected. What are you talking about, unauthorized entry? Unauthorized entry detected. Don't distract me. I need to... Uh, <laughs> I think Oris is about to die. <laughs> Oris just accidentally wandered into the strip. What is going on? I've never seen this happen before, but Oris has single-handedly taken out all of the strip guards. She's not supposed to do, but today he did. Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Sure. 
with that done, let's go have a chat with the king and explain the situation. Got the king right here, and uh, Rex has definitely seen better days. What do you have for me? Horse is a fraud, fakes attacks on his clients, and then Pele's hero. So that's how it happens. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. I'll head over right away. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. And then another... I gotta have another chalk with you. Else? Uh, still looking into the matter. Then there's no... No, I had something else I wanted to... Anything else? I had other questions. Go ahead. Um, and then where did you get the robot dog? He's not a robot dog. I got from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him. But one of the followers fixed him right up. Is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out. And they said his brain is bad or something. Can they do anything? No. They said they don't have the tools to help him. Is he going uh is he going to be okay? For now. But they said eventually he's gonna get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you have better luck than I did. And there we are. We get nothing but a hound dog. Which leads towards us being able to recruit Rex. Which, uh... I mean, if en Eddie has shown how capable those companions are in this run, I can only wait to see what Rex will do. Uh, but anyways, we'll be working that on a little bit later. For now, I need to make my way down to... What's next on our agenda? I guess one last thing I can do is... I think I can do pressing matters in my current case. Because of a couple of reasons. Number one, not only do can I shut down the machine easily enough, but number two, there are star caps around the actual building. So, let's go pick those up then. Um, first up though, I'm going to make a quick detour, so I'll see you guys after that. Just wanted to have a quick look, and unfortunately Eddie is still a tunneler. Which means I don't know if he's actually going to, you know, change back into something useful anytime soon. Which is a bit of a shame. Anyway, onwards towards our next destination. No fiends, good. Well, there's some fiends over there, but we can ignore them. No. Uh, both of these quests are pretty straightforward as far as completing them goes. Um, all we need to do for pressing matters is bring ourselves to the back over here. I think there's actually a door for this uh, quest in particular. Might have to tangle with those fiends. Oh! Ow! Should put on some real armor instead of, you know, the naughty nightwear. Might be a good idea. Alright, I can't wear power armor yet. Duh. Look! You probably deserve that. Mailbox? I've got a crippled limb. Oh, there was Kurt Cattill. Whoops. Well, I guess we did his bounty without even realizing it. Totally forgot he was over here. And got you. Anyone else got any issues? Cleansing flame, I'll take that. And a jumpsuit. No more ammo. Cass, what in the world are you shooting? Let's deal. You haven't Cass. I needed that ammo.
Well, <laughs> thanks, Cass. Wish I had realized you had that. Oh well. Still no star cap. Alright, I'm drinking the last one too. Yeah, the star caps must have been disabled in some capacity because I've had so many, there's no way that I just happen to be unlucky that many times. That guy had a single bullet. That guy had a single thing of fuel. I feel like they weren't that dangerous in that case. Just gonna repair cleansing flame real quick. There we go. And leave some stuff with Veronica. There we are. Um... Got another fiend over here. Who's wearing a birth skirt and trying not to be spotted. Did not go well for them. Anyways. Yep, that right there is the back door, actually. So let's see if I can jump over the fence. Perfect. Take a look in that crate. Sure. Oh, I'll take those two. And... Another bedroll kit, because of course... We've got the factory floor right here. When we help ourselves to what's inside, we've got a couple of robots, um, but nothing too bad. Let's get this in Oddly enough, they're normally robots, and today they were still robots. That doesn't happen all that often. And we're looking for... We only need two star caps. Now, there's like 10 here in Sunset HQ. Um, break down the machine. What are these guys? Now, all we have to do is take a look around and we're guaranteed to find some star caps uh, spread around the building. And where we only really need the two... What are you called? Uh, uh, we should be able to find it pretty quick. That doesn't look like a security guard. I also didn't really need a gnome, but I'll take it. School is friendly. And honestly, before they turn on me, I should just start taking out all the monsters in here. Um. So let's do that, shall we? Goodbye, Mr. Ghoul. This right here is... Nope, that's not the door we need to get through. This place should be pretty easy to dig through and find what we're looking for, though. Um... So all we need is that leads out to the wasteland, to the back door. All right, let's keep going then. All we have to do, like I said, is find. Oh, someone's not happy. Gotcha. Is there something down on this floor, or is that upstairs? That might be upstairs. Um... Hmm. I'll go loot you. Ooh. Burger's Digest. Completely useless since our science is 100, but oh well. Yep, yeah, me and Veronica can pretty much clear this place out without an issue.
Oh, we got some more sunsets right there. Oh. Ow. That hurt. Incendiary missiles. Ochi. Oh, incendiary rockets. I was gonna say, that wasn't too much damage. I know my armor's not that good. It's definitely not that good. I took the armor that specifically isn't quite as defensive because it gives other buffs. So, uh... Yeah, it shouldn't be tanking too many missile hits. Let's see. There should be... Right up in one of these main offices. A couple of... Star Caps. Maybe right in here, perhaps. Some hollow point. And this filing cabinet. Some 223. Nope, Veronica's still here. Is that a Deathclaw? It's a Deathclaw mother. Um. Gonna be honest. I did not think I could one hit a Deathclaw mother. Like, I knew my melee skill was good. Ooh, we leveled up. Alright. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Another D10. Now, we could max out a couple of things this time, which I'm kind of hoping for. One. Barter. Alright. I didn't think barter would be one of the skills we're maxing first, but apparently that's what's happening. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 above Reaver. Nope. 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 Rolling a lot of 90. 6. That's easy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Cool. That's useless. I'm never going to be using the engineer stuff, though. Yep, totally useless. And now do the same thing again. 33 and above is a reroll. Um, yeah, because we don't have the 22 perks yet. 4, no. 4 again, no. 86, no. 28. Eye for an eye. Each couple of limb gives us an additional 10% damage. Not too bad. Not the best. Uh, and the reason is basically... If I'm sacrificing limbs to do extra damage... Then that means I'm already in a bad way. Like... It's not it's not a great situation to be in. There's some cases where that is actually pretty good. Um if I'm already in the fight and I lose like my if my arm or my leg goes down for instance, then that's workable. But yeah. Um in the meantime, I think there are some caps in there. But I need to get my perception up for lockpick. Yeah, so I need to wait for the evening. There we go. That's enough to get in. There we go. A single star cap. Which puts us one away, I think. 
sunset. Yeah, we're one away. There's more than just that one in here, though. Um, I may have to look it up just to make sure I get it, but... There's definitely more than that to be found. Well, now we're going to do 10% more damage, so that's good. Although... Does having an arm crippled weaken your melee skill? I don't know. So... It's possible it's not quite as good as, you know, I was suggesting. Status... Um... Doesn't give us a status effect. Makes me think we might be in the clear, but it's hard to say. We have picked up a couple more Sunset Sarsbrillos themselves, so let me try and drink those and see if we have any luck. Or if I gotta keep looking around for the few star caps that might be around here. Come on. One more. Gosh darn it. I've made a mistake. There is not a multiple spawns of actual caps here. There's only that one cap in the safe. The reason you're able to get so many is because there's a lot of Sunset Sarsaparilla here. But not necessarily the caps themselves. And seeing as how I've not gotten a single star cap from a single thing of Sunset Sarsaparilla... This could be a slight issue. Up, oh, Sunset Sarsaparilla. I don't think that was an empty bottle that I picked up. And weren't there some more full bottles that got knocked over here? No? I'm desperate. Please. Give me the soda. Doctor's bag is cool, but not what I need. Oh, I didn't loot you. Seven caps. Of course, none of them were Sunset Sarsaparilla caps, but... Um... Um... Hmm... Come on. I didn't pick up another... I could have sworn I picked up another Sarsaparilla. I call shenanigans. Well, this is certainly an issue. Um, and I think I'm going to have to leave it off there for now. On this weird cliffhanger. It's not really a typical cliffhanger. It's just I can't count how many things I had, apparently. Because I could have sworn I had more... There were more star caps here. But apparently, that's not the case. So, that's enough for now. My dog is having a heart attack over in the uh, living room. I'll have to deal with that, because she's being a weirdo. Uh, but thank you all so much for watching. Remember to be nice to the people and be awesome out there, and I'll see you in the next one, where we'll sort out the Sunset Sarsaparilla issue.